So here's our next story. Florida is investigating a teacher who showed a Disney movie with a gay character. Oh, God, this is so fucking ridiculous. Uh, the movie is Strange World, by the way. It's a newer movie. A Florida teacher is under investigation by the state's Department of Education after she showed her students a Disney movie that features a gay character. Jenna Barbie, who teaches fifth grade in Hernando County School District, says a t- student's mother lodged a complaint with education officials after Barbie showed the film Strange World in her classroom. Barbie said the mu- movie focuses on humans' relationship to the environment, which is why she chose to show it to her class after a section on ecosystems, plants, and animals. She said a subplot about a boy having a crush on another boy never crossed her mind before screening the, screening the film. It talks about love to all things, and that's literally what this movie represents, Barbie told NPR. I find it interesting that now I'm getting in trouble for a similar topic. So we're we're going to... uh, We're going to go... We're going to watch a video that she made. This is her, by the way. This is the teacher. Um, We're going to watch this video, and... um, and, and talk about it. Hi, my name is Jenna Barbie. I'm the teacher that is under investigation with the Florida Department of Education for indoctrination for showing a Disney movie. Um, I just wanted to come here and tell you my truth, my story. about. Thanks, Gonzo. I appreciate that. So I'm a first year teacher and a first time mom. So needless to say, I've had a lot of learning to do this year. Um, so how this situation came to be our students had standardized testing all morning so some students didn't finish so in the afternoon part of my students who didn't finish went to a different teacher's classroom and she split her kids amongst the other fifth grade teachers so due to the fact that they spent their morning state standardized testing uh, I had a lot of students not in my room who typically are and I had another teacher students in my room I thought it would be a great time to give them a brain break by showing a movie that related to what we were learning about in school Other fifth grade classes did this as well. So I want to bring up the issue that I'm in trouble for. I was told by every teacher and mentor at our school that our method for approval by administration of showing movies was to have a signed parent permission slip for PG movies. I had that from the beginning of the year. The whole fifth grade team had signed permission slips for PG movies with no objections to specific content. Um, I actually had one student who did have objection to specific content not showing the Buzz Lightyear movie. But she wasn't. That's so fucking funny dude so so here's what happened and this is what this is what i understand okay this is this is how i understand it and this is this is what happened so she got a uh, signed permission slip so a, a permission slip goes out and it basically says i blank hereby uh give permission to um florida school and mrs barbie to show pg P- rated PG movies in the classroom with the obs- with the exception of those movies listed below. These specific movies listed below. And then there's a spot for movies you write in and then you sign it below that and date it. Right? Everybody in the class got those back. One person said, I don't want you to show the Buzz Lightyear movie. I'm going to assume that's because there is a also there's a gay character in the Buzz Lightyear movie. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to assume that's why. No other object, ob- objections. Okay, and now she's in trouble for showing a different movie because it had a gay character in it. I wasn't in my classroom anymore, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, the reason I was turned in is because one of the split students was a school board member's daughter. That school board member is currently on a rampage to get rid of every form of representation out of our schools. She even spent days this past week going to all the high schools to get rid of anything that had to do with representation whatsoever. She even had admin escort her to a teacher's classroom that had a sticker of a black hand and a white hand holding hands and the white hand had a different color fingernail for every finger. So the school board member called the Department of Education on me for indoctrination before ever coming to our school to talk with me or admin about the situation when- so we are living we are living in a world where this 
in this the school district that she works in this isn't fucking psychotic this is this is okay to go on in the school district that she works in this isn't just like a weirdo psychotic thing like they're investigating her and i don't think she's working in that classroom right now because she showed straight the disney movie strange world to her class like i feel like i'm losing my fucking mind like are you fucking kidding me when she did come to our school she came as a school board member and our principal said no you can come as a concerned parent but then you need to schedule a meeting so she did she came and later that day and Adam was in and out of my room pulled me out a lot of and we had a meeting and i understood her perspective that okay she really doesn't want this shown at her house i i never saw that perspective before so i didn't think it was a big deal but seeing how upset she was i told her i I understand my lesson that's that but come to find out she had already reported me and there was nothing she can do about it so i chose this movie because I, it relates to our curriculum our unit at the time was and she like like she's what she's saying is she, she's like i'm sorry i didn't know because you didn't tell me and i wouldn't have shown it if you had told me which i don't think is correct by the way that's fucked it's all fucked. She's like, yeah, I wouldn't have shown the the F slur movie if you would have told me first. Like, no, you are you are you should be allowed to show that movie. They signed a permission slip that said that you could show rated PG movies. If you, it should be a fucking crime to exclude movies just because it has a gay character in it. It should be a fucking crime, okay? So I do not agree with that liberal take where she's like, well, I see your perspective and I, I know that you're you're afraid of that, 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 uh, that coming into your household. No, it should be a fucking crime to do that. Okay. But she's saying that she was willing to work with them and be like, no, we could, we could have just not shown it if you, you had told me, but she's still getting in trouble for it. Earth science and ecosystems and how they interact, plants, humans, animals. <laughs> So this movie is perfect. My thought process was what a better way to showcase all these standards, along with huge lessons of overcoming differences, spreading kindness, communication, and chasing your dreams. A lot of which were in our, are in our social emotional Florida best standards as well. Is a character in the movie LGBTQ? Absolutely. Is that why I showed it? No, I have a lot of fifth grade students who have come to me this year long before showing this movie talking about how they're part of that community as well. And it's not a big deal to me. So I just said, OK, that's awesome. Do you um, not pushing anything, just being accepting. That's what I do. Um, does that have anything to do with why I showed it? Not in the slightest. The LGBTQ aspect uh, of the movie, they're harmless. It's just a talked about crush. And it's only a couple lines in total scene time of just over two minutes. The parents in the movie kiss a lot. <laughs> and that wasn't even brought up. And that's the issue. I mean, she's right. The, the parent, if the parents are like making out, that's not indoctrination at all. That's not inappropriate. But if but if there's a character in the movie that has a crush on somebody who is the same gender, then that is indoctrination. That is inappropriate. Is 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 what they're saying. I also want to bring up a fact that none of my students cared or batted an eye. They didn't even know this was a big deal until the board member and the state made it a big deal. They're using it against me, saying they're protecting the children and it's for their safety. But what is this actually showing them? Their teacher showed a movie to help them connect to our curriculum and learn some valuable life lessons. But the minor representations that have nothing to do with the movie are such a big deal that now admin is in their room pulling their teacher out calling the students one by one down to the office to interrogate them in the middle of my lessons and now there is an investigator from the florida department of education coming to pull my students out of class again to investigate them individually and by the way they don't even have to have a signed parent permission slip for that uh, this investigator is allowed to come and pull them out and a letter got sent home to some of the students but i doubt a lot of my parents are even going to get it and if they don't call and object, the interrogator is allowed to just pull them out. 
That's so fucked up. Like, they just watched a movie, didn't even think about it, okay? And now they're going to be traumatized forever because they have some fucking ghoul coming into their classroom and pulling them out to interrogate them about the, the gay in their movie that they watched. Like, dude, leave these kids alone, man. This is fucking wild. Do you know the trauma that that is going to cause to some of my students? They are fifth graders. They, some of them can barely come up and have a conversation with me and are just getting comfortable with me and now an investigator is allowed to come and interrogate them? Are you kidding me? The, what is that showing them? This is the public education system where students from all backgrounds, cultures, and religions are welcomed and should be celebrated and represented. I am not and never would indoctrinate anyone to follow my beliefs. I will, however, always be a safe person to come to that spreads the message of kindness, positivity, and compassion for everyone. That is the key to the safety for our children. That is the key message that everyone needs to find in their heart and understand. I was taking stuff off the walls the other day and I had a student come to me and say, Miss Barbie, why are you doing this? And it's because of the new law that was put out about everything being standards. And I said, well, this is what's happening. And they said, why don't we get a say? That's a good point. Why don't you get a say? If you haven't seen the Disney movie, Strange World, I highly recommend it. And for those of you who are throwing hate my way without knowing me or my true intentions, you may learn a thing or two from that movie. Follow your heart, find the compassion, find the kindness. It's the key to a better, positive life. Thank you. Good God. Florida is such a fucking hellhole. And this this is happening throughout the United States, by the way. Like, they're, they're trying to p push legislate a very liberal ending. I mean, she's a liberal, okay? And a lot of teachers are, okay? And I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit here and make fun of her for that or anything like that, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she just wants to do what's right. And she doesn't she's not a fucking ghoul that's trying to, like, execute gay people like the conservatives in Florida are. But this is, like, concerning because, like, they can do this in Florida and, and people are trying to pass bills like the uh, legislation like this throughout the U.S., and it's not going to go through in most places. Like, don't get me wrong. We know that. Like, most people are like, no, that's, don't do that. Like, what the fuck? But it, it can and will pass in some places. And it's concerning. Because it's like, they want to control every aspect of everything. It's fucking wild. They're going too far. They're going too far. Like, the point of... The point of supporting... Bills like this, as a conservative, the point of cons uh, of supporting like anti queer, anti trans bills, anti abortion bills, anti immigration. The point of supporting the that kind of legislation is to create a issue that people can rally behind you for. Because without those issues, what you have and what the conservatives are pushing for is tax cuts for the wealthy, okay, and um, social cuts for the poor. That's it. If it's not anti-drag bills, anti-immigration uh, bills, and, you know, uh, don't say gay bills anti-trans bills, if you get rid of all of the culture war stuff, if you get rid of all of that, all you have left with the conservatives is cutting taxes for the wealthy and putting that burden back on poor